Good morning, my name is Becky and I live on the island of Maui and I am a traveling acupuncturist. And this morning I got up and I'm gonna get take my my Chinese herbs. Water. My name is Becky. Hello, herbs. My name is Becky. I like to introduce myself to things that I put into my body. If I introduce them, then it becomes an introduction to my body instead of forcing my body to do anything with anything it doesn't want to do. So now that I've introduced my herbs to my body, it has the choice on whether or not it wants to do anything with them. It's a, I find that introducing myself to anything makes it a much more peaceful and relaxing um, experience for me. So, um, I don't know about you, but the energy has been really intense. My dreams have been really intense. Um, right now we're in a integration window. And we, I'm looking down at my note, uh, my calendar. And we're also, oh yeah, we're also in a body speed up phase. So I noticed that the downloads that my energetic computer system is receiving are really, really intense right now. Um, I woke up in a, a feeling like I was in a bed, a healing chamber, um, and just the intensity of the energy coming through and the amount of downloads my, my um, body was integrating. It's just been really intense lately. Um, but one of the things that it's helping me to remember is to be kind to myself and to love myself. I think that so much of our society has been taught to get so far away from loving ourselves, fulfilling our own needs, and letting other people dictate our worth and our value. So anyhow, today I'm having my morning coffee. It is delicious. I drink a wonderful um, organic coffee that is um, very mellow. It doesn't give me the zingers. And I bought a frother, a milk frother, and I figured out how to use it. Oh, I'm so excited. It was so delicious to have frothy milk in my coffee this morning. Hmm. All right. So this morning, let's see. Head out. Yesterday I did all the laundry and I made Miracle Water, which um, if you haven't seen my other videos, um, it's just about restructuring the, um, the oxygen to hydrogen level, making the, um, the angle bond larger instead of being 108 degrees. I heat and cool the water so many times that it actually expands the angle to about 114, which allows no, um, nothing to grow in it. And one of the things I was thinking about when I woke up this morning, and I was so excited because I can't remember the last time I was sick because I know that it was before 2020. And being a traveling acupuncturist, I kind of pride myself on my health and really taking care of myself because I know that if I'm sick, that means that I have an emotional imbalance somewhere in my body. If I hurt myself, um, yeah, I've hurt myself a couple times um, on this arm. And it's all about an emotional imbalance and coming back into that balance my favorite things in my acupuncture sessions that i do last is i do fire cupping and um yeah so i just um sanitized um all my cups this week got all my treatments done this week so it's a love friday yay okay and uh Got my little orchid kind of in the sun right there to see if he likes it better. Um, he needs a little bit of sun today. So today, I'm gonna go up and what? Where am I? <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, so I'm gonna go up here and check on, I'm gonna check on my little trees. So I'm part of an organization that is planting a million native trees around the world with little source seeds. They're little tiny little magnets that are attuned to the 144 layers of time. It's a whole new technology, not quantified by science yet, 
um, and won't be quali qualified by science because we don't have the technology yet um, to quantify it. So it's really exciting. But so far, I have planted, this is not a native tree, but I planted this little Buddha's hand. And the Buddha's hand in Chinese medicine is really good for candying and making um, like little crystallized candies with them. Come close to me. Oh my God, hi. Um, making little crystallized candies with them and it helps nourish the tummy. So I've always wanted a Buddha's hand. And uh, look at this other little guy. This is my, um, my fingerling. Isn't he cute next to my ginger? I dug some ginger out the other day, um, which also nourishes the stomach. And the fingerling is just because they are, they look so amazing. And then, oh yeah, my friend Janine dropped off this little white calla lily for me. Um, um, cause in the beginning of May, I lost my doggy. He got a little sick and passed away. So you won't see him in my videos anymore. Um, anyhow. And then here is another Buddhist hand, which I thought I had, um, I had root bound this guy. And really what was happening was the deer were coming by and they were eating all the leaves off. So the poor guy didn't even have a chance. So I put this wonderful little fencing around him and I went to the store. This, this always happens. I go to the store and I purchase another one because I thought that I had accidentally killed that one. Um, around the time of my, my doggy's passing, I accidentally killed a few plants. Um, and so I bought another one and, and then that one's like, no, no, I'm growing. I'm just fine. And so now I have two Buddha's hands. <gasps> oh yeah. And I'm really excited about this guy. So first let's go down for Valentine's day. Was it this year? <laughs> or was it last year? Oh, I can't remember. Anyhow, for Valentine's Day, I purchased for myself a beautiful Lokalani rose, which it's getting ready to bloom right here and right here. And this rose smells delicious. And it was Queen, from my understanding, I could be totally wrong. It was Queen Liliu Okalani's um, favorite rose. And um, is it the flower of Maui as well? I don't know. Anyhow. Um, and then I found this guy. This is Loki Lao. This is a green rose. And um, this rose had a whole bunch of flowers on it. And it also had a whole bunch of, whoops, I had a whole bunch of mold on it. So it, it is being quarantined at the moment for its mold issues. And once I, I kind of chopped off all the moldy parts and once the mold subsides, I'm in a, a quite a dry place. So once the mold subsides, it's going to go in its, its place. Um, I can't decide if it's going to go over with um, my little strawberry garden with the pepper tree. That's where the fingerling and the Buddha's hand and the cowa lily, the white cowa lily are. Um, or if it is going to be over here with the Lokilani, um, I don't know, but I'm so excited. Look at this. This is my little white strawberry garden and it is fruiting. Look at this. This is about as big as they get. Oh, it's not focusing. So it's a, it's a little pineapple strawberry. They're so cute. Oh, this one stuck on it. Oh, well. Mm. <laughs> they are so good. Mm, this is my ordinary life. This is what I do in the mornings. I go out, check on my plants. Um, check my messages to see if anyone needs any acupuncture that day. Um, 
need to make myself an arrangement. Go out and see if there's any flowers that, well, well, whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, see if I can find any flowers for an indoor arrangement. Oh my gosh, check out this cute little shirt dress I found. Isn't it cute? I have paired it with a pair of shorts. It's so cute with these little poof sleeves. Yeah. Makes me really happy. <sighs> I hope you're doing well. Aloha ma. Have a great day. What are you doing, Dougie? You want to be on the vloggy vlog? Mm -hmm. Oh, you do? Thank you for the kiss. Thank you for the kiss.